Hello and welcome to lesson two out of three of entering a non-dual state called layering sound. This is from Practically Mindful and I've been really excited to get to this particular lesson. Uh, if you haven't listened to this stuff before, I re recommend going through it, um, but this is where we're really getting into the core of, of the practices that I use to enter and maintain a non-dual state. Um, and again, this is a state that has fundamental changes to your perspective in the moment of reality. How you literally see the world completely changes. How your body feels in the world completely changes in this state. And my goal in all of these lessons is to help share how you reach that position, but in a way that's not similar to more, more common or traditional mindfulness practices. Everything here is going to be very, very as the title suggests, practical, right? And you should take what I'm saying very literally here. All right. So to start off with, what are we going to be trying to achieve here? Um, you're going to, well, let's just start with this, your perspective in the world, right? So how do you see yourself? What does it feel like to be you in the world? Well, um, you know, the point of contact with our senses, so really our eyes, right? Our retinas might be where you say, that's kind of where the world starts and I end or the world ends and I begin, right? It's that point. It's just where this red line exists, right? And you might say the same for touch as, you know, at your skin. That's really where the point of contact with our senses occurs. And this is the fundamental core of the sort of subject object uh, perspective point of view of consciousness. Right? You've heard it before stated this is what we're talking about when we say it's an illusion. This perspective of you as your body in the world is a very real and important illusion to retain. But if you think about it, right, that's what, you know, learning motor skills uh, as a child is all about. It's about mastering this illusion so that you can exist as fluidly in the world as possible. But we know in a really real sense, in a very real sense, we exist all entirely within our brain, right? Or within our nervous system, that everything that it means to be conscious is occurring in here, right? That's why you can take an anesthesia and not feel anything when you're being operated on, because really everything is occurring in the brain. And so this perspective that you're back there or out here making contact with the world out here, um, that's false. And so to break this illusion, we're going to practice the idea, these exercises that are going to actually move your field of perspective backwards. And I mean that literally, again, literally, you're going to try to see sooner and sooner and sooner. So imagine a bee flew in front of your nose, like your field of perspective or your, or your depth of perspective suddenly goes really shallow, right? That's where we're talking about observing right now. Um, and so that's sort of the practice we're going to be using. So stage your body in space. So this is about uh, sound, but we really want to focus on the visual field as well. Um, and so it really becomes the backdrop for everything that we're going to do with our other senses as we progress through these lessons. Um, so you'll notice that my environment, this is how where I meditate typically, very colorful, very bright, but not very descript uh, items. You don't see shoes or um, things that I can identify easily in my space. It's just big, bright colors. Um, shadows, lights, and darks. You should be effortlessly reclined. You should breathe slowly, deeply through your nose. And we'll get into music, but you really are going to want some quality headphones. Uh, if you don't have those right now, no worries, but ideally you use headphones. That's really important that you utilize headphones for this practice because we're going to get into spatial sound and really be utilizing the value of really spatial sound for developing that non-dual state. Okay, if we can get this going. All right, here we go. So audio support. I highly recommend this app called Brainwave Altered States. Um, the recommended place that I would put your settings, you want to set your brainwave to about 30 to 50 percent. For this purpose, if you're going to use the Spotify app um, and the, the playlist that I've created, you're going to just take your ambience down to zero. If you're not going to use the music, though, you can bring your ambience up and that will be helpful. And that can be what replaces the spatial music that I've provided. 
Uh, the good thing about this app too is that it will play in the background while any other app is playing. So you can play music at the same time, which is what we're going to try to do. That's a lot of noise happening in your headphones and that's the point, so. Okay, so the Spotify playlist, if you just search Practically Mindful in Spotify, this is the image you should see that pops up. The first five songs are what's really important. Everything else is stuff that I really use to meditate, but maybe not your, you know, cup of tea. Uh, these first songs are, are intended to have less, at least identifiable lyrics. Um, and so you may not enjoy the music a ton, but that's really not the point. These aren't necessarily my favorite songs in the world, but they're very spatial. They exist. They sound like they're rattling all around in your head. Um, and they're really useful for helping to cultivate that non-dual awareness. Okay. All right. Now let's get into it. So your focal distance. So this is where we have to start with. Get comfy with a really short focal distance. Like I said, you know, where are your glasses? If you wear sunglasses or if you wear regular glasses, right? Where do those exist on your face? And you're really trying to push your field your depth of vision to that distance. It's super short, right? Um, and just keep reattending to that process. Never relinquish that depth of field because the moment you do, your eyes are going to focus on something out in the world and it's going to in instantaneously reconstruct that subject object perception, okay? So we're just trying to break that out. Okay, so keep what, wherever you're seeing, whatever you're observing, whatever you notice in your visual field, observe sooner. Observe prior to that point, okay? And keep attending to that. You may feel discomfort is the wrong word, um, a slight strain in your eyes. That is normal. You shouldn't feel, it shouldn't hurt at all, um, but you may feel that and that's okay. It's a physical act that we're doing. And we when we do it, you should start noticing what we call, or what I call this visual static. If you enjoy Sam Harris, you may understand it as the shimmer behind your eyelids. It's exactly the same thing. It's just, we're gonna have a very slack open gaze while we're looking at it. And that's something you should think about is, really you should, your gaze should be pointed slightly downward, really relaxed, your eyelids kind of drooping, right? I see, now this might be to the, do the shape of my eye, which is a bit narrower. Um, I see my lower eyelid when I'm in this state, when I'm in this position. You may not, I'm not sure. It may depend on the shape of your eye. Um, but I've tried to represent that here at the bottom. This is what I see whenever I am in a non-dual state or very close to what I'm looking at um, with some additional color changes. But the next thing that we're going to want to do is really observe the periphery. So we're looking shallow, but then in addition to that, you're going to just observe the entire field of that shallow depth of vision, okay? So I'm not just looking right in front of my nose. How much, how wide can I see? How broadly can I view? And really retain, attend, attend to that shorter depth of field. If in this instance in front of you, I'm noticing the piano in the upper left, I need to look before that. I need to look at a, at a plane of vision that is before the point when I would notice that's a piano, okay? And I'm really, that's why it's important to have colors in front of us, because these help retain our attention on something that's bright and attractive, um, so we're not bored, but in something that's not going to draw us into a subject-object perception. We're not going to try and focus on something in there, because there's nothing really to focus on. You can just bask in the color of it. Okay, now here's where we get into the sound. So this is where you would be when you turn on this playlist that I have. You'll first start out with ideally that Brainwave app, and then you'll turn on this playlist. And these are the exercises that I really want you to try once you feel comfy with those visual field exercises. If you're not comfy with those, don't go down this road yet. It won't really be a value yet until you can really be fully aware of the visual static. That's really kind of your threshold for saying, I'm good to move on. But when you are, put on that playlist, put on that Brainwave app, and here's what we're going to do. In those songs, you'll notice that the sound is all around your head if you're wearing headphones. Observe those notes as if they are ripples across your visual field. 
look to that plane where the static exists. And if that song, if any and every note in that song was a drop on that surface of static, where would it be? I want you to visualize that. This may sound absurd, it may sound strange. Just try and trust the process. What we're doing is we're dismantling the subject object perception. Okay? And so by allowing the mind, giving the mind something to attend to, we prevent the mind from creating its own distractions and we give it things to attend to that are actually intentionally disrupting the subject object perception. This is the fundamental difference between this practice and traditional mindfulness is we are actively seeking distractions but ones that will pull us away from a subject object and into a non-dual perspective. And so again, you're going to try to view the entire song, the entire playlist, as if it's a play and the notes are happening on that visual field layered over the static in front of you. Exercise four, and this one, if you feel comfy with three, proceed to four. Locate the 3D position of specific sounds on the songs. So the first song in that playlist is called, I think, Parallel Six. And somewhere about halfway through, and there's lots of bells in it, somewhere about halfway through, you're gonna hear one new specific bell. And I want you to think of your head as the microphone and that bell being played around your head. Notice where that is occurring and see it. Push your awareness behind the bell, no matter how far back that note is occurring. Try to push your awareness back and put the notes onto the field of static. That bell may sound like it's behind your head. It may sound to the left of you, to the right of you, below you, above you. Wherever it is, push the note onto your visual field, onto the field of the static. And reattend. Do not, do not drop that perspective. Do not drop your depth of vision, that very shallow depth of vision this entire time. Keep seeing sooner through all of this. See the notes, see the edge of your periphery, and whatever you're noticing, notice before that. And that's it. Whatever you see, whatever you notice, look sooner. And if you can do this, if you can master this, you're going to experience something wholly new and unique. And I really look forward to hearing your responses. If you're able to find a new level, a new depth to your practice as a result of this. So please subscribe. Uh, I don't do a lot about advertising for myself. Let me know how this goes for you. But from here on out, go try the practice with the playlist, with the, the app. I'm not a sponsor. I don't, I'm not sponsored by that app. I just highly, highly recommend it. Um, I think it's $5. Um, but go try this now. Add it to your practice. Remember, write down those three exercises or those several exercises if you need to. And let me know how it goes for you. I'm very curious to hear your experience.